And it's the beginning of a brand new week and as always, we have our angels with us. Today we're receiving guidance for the week of the 5th through the 11th of February 2018. So keep watching because as always the angels have powerful and loving guidance for us. Hello beautiful soul, my name is Maria and in our video today we're receiving angel guidance for the next week, the week of the 5th through the 11th of February 2018. So if you're interested in improving your health and also growing your spirituality always with the company of the angels, go ahead and click the subscribe button below so you will always get notifications whenever I'm posting a new angel guidance, a new meditation or a new Reiki healing here in my channel. So for this week, we're going to be using the Butterfly Oracle Cards for Life Changes. This is by Doreen Virtue and we have 44 cards in this deck. The cards are right here and they bring us lots of life-changing messages. Since this new super blue blood moon that we had this week, there's lots of new beginnings coming up for all of us. So I chose this deck for this week so we can get the guidance. I already have Monday and Tuesday here. Just close your eyes and ask with me for the angels to give us the right message to help us move forward with our lives, to help us change for the best. Okay, the cards are flying. There's lots of energy. I have another one here. This is for Wednesday and Thursday. So let's see for the weekend, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, what comes up for us. Keep asking the angels for their love, their light, and the messages we need to hear that can help us to change, to finally move forward, to finally open the doors of our lives for new beginnings to come forward. So let's see what they have. It's here, uh, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. So let's see first, for Monday and Tuesday, they chose two cards. The first one is the end of an era. It's just about this important phase that we just closed now with this new full, super full moon that happened this week, this past week, that was talking about the, the breakage, the, the, the ending of this phase that we had since last August when we had the other super full moon until now. So we closed this part of our lives. These changes were already done. And from now on, there are new beginnings coming. There are so many new changes coming up as well. But this is just to tell you again, to let you know that whatever was going on from August Till now, this is now over, this is now finished, this era have done, is done now. And from now on, there are new and positive things coming up. It's a new chapter of our lives for all of us coming up and beginning from this new super, from this super full moon that happened last week. And the next card is the join in so what they're talking about for this Monday and Tuesday is that it's important for you to start putting yourself into new things in your life, joining new groups, joining new classes, joining new friends, so you can increase your vibration by being in new, also new energy around you. So remember, if you want to start something new, in a matter of learning something, of doing some training, doing, doing some course, doing some classes, do it. This is the time to start moving forward. This is the time to start changing your life. And what they are asking you is that yes, it is good and you should be starting this class or this training or whatever you want to begin, but join in these groups, join in this 
um, global consciousness that we are raising now, this vibration we are raising all together. So remember to join in these kind of groups as well, spiritual groups as well, that will help you raise your vibration, will help you step into your true power again and show you that there are many things coming up. So bring these new feelings to your week, start whatever you want to start on Monday, the first day of the week, do it now, don't leave it for tomorrow, it's time to change, it's time to move forward, it's time to open new doors for your life, okay? And then for Tuesday and Wednesday, we have the healing from the past. This is also a message about this new beginnings coming up since the super full moon. What they want us to understand is that, is that whatever happened in the past is time to heal, it's time to let go. Things with the energy of the moon, things are going to start to come to surface. Emotions and feelings from the past are going to start to come forward to show us what we need to heal to show us that it is time to let go of this. It is time to just remove this backpack full of stones that we are carrying. Leave it here and move on with your life without carrying any baggage from the past. So remember, if you want uh, to change, if you want things to come forward for you and start manifesting, it's time to leave space for these new things to come forward. So it is important to let go of the past. It's important to heal your heart, heal your emotions, heal whatever happened to you before and let go of these feelings. They don't serve you for anything. They do not belong to you. So release these feelings, leave them behind, leave them in the past. So you can move forward and you open your heart and you open space in your life for all these new and magical things to finally come into your life, to finally manifest the way you want. Like I said, this new, this super full moon that happened is so powerful and it's going to start shifting our energy and shifting our lives for the best. But for this to happen, we need to heal the past, we need to let go, we need to move forward without connections with feelings that are carrying us down and keeping us in the past. So focus in your future because there are many beautiful things coming up for you. And for the weekend, Friday, Saturday and Sunday, we have the new exercise program and it's the same thing again. They are telling you to start new changes to start new trainings to start new exercise programs but do something new bring this energy of new beginnings to your life this can be exer physical exercise yoga or even going to the gym doing some group classes or working out this can be also exercise in a matter of exercising your spirituality. So starting to learn more, starting to understand yourself more. So bringing this new shift of energy by learning as well, by learning for yourself and growing your understanding and your knowledge in any area that you're interested in. So remember, it's time to change this week, this month, the next few months are going to be all about change, are going to be all about stepping into the new, stepping into the truth of yourself, the truth that lives inside your heart. And this is only possible when we let go of the past, when we, we release energy that keeps us down. So start new trainings this week, start new beginnings, join new groups, bring more friends to your life and release the past, let go. Okay, my dear. So this was the angel guidance for this week. And I deeply hope it gives you a little bit of strength and gives you a little bit of positivity to feel that you can do it, to feel that it's coming. This is 100% sure message from divine angels, from beings of light and high vibrational beings to let you know 
that there are so many new things coming up and it is time to step into this energy. It is time to change. It is time to open your heart and open your eyes for the new life that is ahead of you. And this was our angel guidance for the week of the 5th through the 11th of February 2018. I hope you enjoyed it and I want to thank you for being here. Thank you for staying here with me and for being in my channel. Don't forget to comment below how did this reading go for you, how you have been feeling about all these new shifts coming for us. I'm sure there's lots of people already feeling the power of this moon towards us, towards the world. So let me know how you have been experiencing it and how was your experience on the day of this super moon, of this lunar eclipse that happened last week. I will be very happy to reply to you if you have any questions and I will be always be here for you whenever you want to just chat and whenever you need anything or any guidance from the angels. I hope you have a wonderful week, a blessed week always with your angels protecting you and guiding you in every step during this week and I'll see you very soon again. Thank you for being here with me and as always, Namaste.